Well, it is that time of year again when RVers have a couple of options, either head south for warmer weather or winterize the RV and put it into storage or brave the cold weather and keep on camping. In this video, we're gonna talk about seven common mistakes that many new RVers often overlook when cold weather camping. Now, winter RVing can be an adventure and it can be incredible, but it also comes with some unique challenges you need to know about. So stay tuned to make that winter RV and camping trip more comfortable. So mistake number one that a lot of RVers make when winter camping is underestimating the importance of insulation. Now, many RVs are not insulated for extreme cold. Even RVs that are labeled as four season RVs still need some extra care in the insulation department. And remember that RVs are built to be lightweight which means the walls are pretty thin and they're just not well insulated. Adding extra insulation like reflectix in cabinet areas or windows, or even using things like window film on windows to help insulate those windows is crucial so you don't have a chilly and uncomfortable RV interior. Now mistake number two that a lot of new RVers make when cold weather camping is not preparing the plumbing system. Now, when water freezes at low temperatures, this can literally wreak havoc on your RV's water system and plumbing system. Not only do you not want to find yourself in a situation where you have no water flow, but frozen pipes can actually mean replacing that PEX tubing that is used in RV water systems. Not something that you want to try to tackle, especially in the middle of winter. So this is where using things like heated water hoses when you bring that water into the RV is not only helpful, but using a heated sewer hose or a heated sewer hose support can also be helpful for those outside water areas. And if you do choose to put your RV into storage in the winter time, you wanna make sure that you properly winterize the plumbing by draining all of the water tanks, including that hot water heater, and using RV antifreeze to help prevent freezing and any costly damage that could ensue. <laughs> and I actually have another item that can help your RV water system from freezing in cold temps that I'll talk about just a little bit later in this video. Mistake number three is neglecting some maintenance items. Tires are a big thing that people actually overlook when winter camping. Now think about it, cold weather does affect tire pressure. So you wanna make sure that you're regularly checking and maintaining your RV's tire pressures, especially if you have something that's drivable or even your travel trailers and fifth wheels when you're moving them from place to place. Underinflated tires can lead to poor handling, blowouts, lots of things that you don't want to have to deal with, especially if you are driving on snowy or wintry roads. Another thing to remember is that if you have lithium batteries, they do not perform well in extreme cold temperatures. And this is where using something like a heated battery pad can be helpful. And you also want to make sure to check all of the seals and weather stripping around slide outs, doors, and windows can stay a lot warmer that way. Now mistake number four is insufficient heating planning. Now this is like from experience here, relying solely on an RV's built-in furnace, probably not gonna be sufficient in extremely cold conditions. If you end up in a place where you've got some sub-zero temps, probably not gonna do it for you. So a lot of things that new RVers fail to think about is backup heating sources. So like space heaters or heated blankets. Now mistake number five is forgetting about condensation. Now, condensation in RVs during cold weather camping is a huge issue. And really it's caused by the temperature differential between the air inside the RV and the outside air when that temperature drops. Now, in addition to humidity levels and poor ventilation in your RV, condensation buildup is a common concern. Now, if you don't address this, it can really cause like a lot of problems with mold and mildew growth in the RV, things you just don't want to have to deal with. So using extra ventilation like roof vent fans, dehumidifiers, moisture absorbing products can really help to combat this issue when you are camping in cold weather. And I'm not talking about just like sub-zero temperatures, like even 40, 50 degrees outside, you will see how much condensation can build up inside of your RV and rather quickly. So when this video is over, I'm gonna link to a video that we did specifically about mitigating condensation in your RV. In that video, we have some great ways that we talk about how to keep condensation at a minimum when cold weather camping.
Now, mistake number six a lot of people make is when they are going to be in their RV during the cold weather, they don't skirt the RV. Now, RV skirting in cold weather is crucial for several reasons. Now, basically, let me talk real fast about what skirting is, and that's the process of enclosing the underside of your RV with some sort of material that acts as a barrier between the RV, the outside air, and, and the cold ground. Now, here's why that this is so important, is that because RVs are not well insulated underneath, they often have gaps and openings where cold air can come up inside of the RV as well as, think about this, you have your waste tanks, you have a lot of your plumbing, all of those things are underneath, and this is a huge freezing potential in cold weather. So skirting creates a sealed barrier that helps to keep the cold air out, the warm air inside, and just significantly improves the overall insulation of your RV, making it easier to maintain a comfortable temperature while that you're cold weather camping. So we personally like the product called Air Skirts for the ease of install and portability where they take up very little space to store when they're not in use. They're easy to inflate. You can place them around your RV, deflate them when you're ready to take them down. And since really no RV is like a one size fits all, they're so different. The air skirts actually can help make sure that you don't have any huge gaps because they're, you know, you can push them in and, and adjust them as you go. Mistake number seven a lot of RVers make is poor trip planning. So let's just be serious for a minute, okay? Unless you're wanting a ski vacation or needing to be near family, maybe just head south for the winter. Like, we do because really your RV has wheels for a reason, right? But if you can't head south, <laughs> then make sure that the campground you're considering is even open. A lot of campgrounds in cold weather states actually close down their campsites and winterize their campsites for the cold weather season. So make sure you're not left out in the cold. See what I did there? Yeah, funny pun. And make those phone calls to make sure that you have a place to set up camp. Just don't assume that that campground is going to be open year round. I'm gonna leave that video right up here about mitigating RV condensation. Now, if you plan on using your RV at all this winter, I mean, even 40, 50 degrees, this is a must watch to avoid growing mold, mildew, other fun things that you don't want to have in your RV. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.